Hi well ham fam, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And he's, he's the baby. He's Pan. He's Pan. With his fluffy bum. With his skirt. See, I don't know how I feel about you saying I'm wearing it. It's a scorch father. I'm sure that's what they're called. <laughs> he's just had his first brush in. And his siblings are up. This is actually the first day this week. The poor little devils have been out, actually been out. And I've just realised. Not serious, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, the Russians have been running around on the bed, haven't they, Daddy? Yeah. Right, yeah. are you going to do Word of the Week, Pan? Yeah. Cool. Oh. Right. So, it was Riffinage last time, which was a little... Oh no, it wasn't. I'm, I, it was harp last time. That's right. Yes. It's the metal loop hoop a yep. lampshade sits on, and this day and today oh, is Ideo, Ideo Locator. That yeah. you are here, Arrow, on a map. All right. Ideo. Ide there. <laughs> yeah. Was that good? Was it? It's the fluffing. It's the fluff. Is the fan blowing your fluff, mate? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I hope you guys you, managed to stay cool this week. Yeah, we so actually she, had to purchase another. We've got, we got another fan. Yeah. yeah. If you could hear, if you could hear it blowing, it's possibly that. I'll say we are. It is. <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing is we. Yeah. We weren't sure whether we'd get a video out today. In fact, I'd be very surprised if this doesn't go out a bit on the later side. Yeah. You want your boarding now, don't you? Yeah. Um, because, one, because of the heat has been absolutely crippling yeah. this week. Um, I've literally been like a puddle in the corner pretty much. But it's been horrible. I, I really don't like this heat. It hurts <laughs> and things swell and mm. other bits hurt and it does nothing for my mother's arthritis. No. Nope. Do you mind? No. Um, right, so let's get yeah. Pan on the floor so he can run around with his brothers and sisters. Sorry, Sir. brothers and sister. Yep. Yeah. There mm. we go. Right guys, so as you say, I mean, I've got a bag of stuff there that I've got to show you guys. So there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm back. Pan's now happily running around on the floor anyway, which yep. is the main bit. Um, I will get another one of them out later on to see you guys, but I probably won't interrupt any of the Syrians unless they want to come out because, hmm. as we said, first time in ages. That's why one of the reasons why this is all cleared off, hmm. but I'll go into that later. Um, Right, so Sherlock last week. Sherlock last week. Uh, I didn't take the guess. Did anybody else? Uh, Angela, yeah. Uh, Angela, as you can think of, was something like a museum or show after Sherlock. What it actually. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Uh, we've got Lully Wayne. So it was a while ago she saw it. The vaguely remember it had something to do with hiding the daughter and having the nanny as the as a look alike. She's quite right with that. Um, that's pretty pink, much it. Pink poodle. Uh, I think the lady's pretend to be someone else. Yeah. Um, she is. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Lolly we'll Wing, I pretty, pretty much had it, I think, with the daughter. And she had to have her hair cut because it was cutting the shorter way that they'd cut. Yeah. That's that that it's quite a big one on it. So we go, right. As it transpired, the young woman had been hired chiefly for a similarity of appearance to her employer's daughter. The unfortunate girl had begun a romance with a small, with a small fellow, a sailor, and the father was violently opposed. While his daughter remained unmarried, he had the use of her inheritance from her deceased mother. That's right. The lady of the house was therefore the girl's new stepmother. The father decided to send the sailor a dismissive message and then confined his daughter to a small room at the top of the house. Holmes' client was there to provide the false appearance of all being as usual. Apart from our client's original hairstyle, the two young women were of a type, and the activities of the couple 
had her performed was such as to give the daughters both the impression that life without him went on pleasantly. He didn't believe a word of it, of course. It all ended well enough, with the lovers free of interference and married, and our client gratifyingly unmolested. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was it was a good one. I mean, he in the in the film version yeah. or in the Sherlock Holmes TV version, if you like. Yeah. Um, this guy would, you know, do these exuberant sort of demonstrations to have her laughing and all the rest of it. But yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. It's actually a Sherlock one, I remember, so. Um, right. Um, also, right. Riddle. Okay, last week, the riddle. I, my answer is, none, it's a hole. That's right. And everybody got that. Angela, Lillyween and Big Poodle. We've all got bits of hope. It doesn't have any dirt. You say that, but it's because we're all geniuses. It is. And we're expecting you to try and trick us, you see. That's right. The caption of the week, which was... Yeah. Oh. We've got oh. the Sherlock from this week. Oh, I've just answered the riddle. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's a few years, but we've we got the, show, the Sherlock from this week. And we've got the riddle. And we've got the riddle well. for this week as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dear God, I'm right. Right. <laughs> right. Well, We've got the wood merchant. Late last August, a curious incident occurred in Torquay, and an innocent man only found himself the unfortunate victim of a miscarriage of justice. Over the course of one weekend, three local businesses were burgled of a substantial sum of valuables. A number of witnesses reported catching glimpses of a suspicious figure, a distinctive looking man, tall, muscular and well tanned, with a prominent nose and a great big bushy beard. Local police suspected that the beard was a disguise, and after some diligent searching, they located a straight razor and mound of facial hair in a quiet nook not far from the rear of one of the burglary sites. Suspicion fell on the local wood merchant, who was undeniably tall, tanned, muscular, clean-shaven and nasally endowed. Furthermore, the fellow made deliveries of firewood to all, all three of the businesses. He had been out of the town over that weekend and therefore had no plausible alibi. It was the man himself who made contact with Holmes, laying out the above details and begging for aid in clearing his name. Holmes didn't feel the, any need to take the case on, but he did send the chap a brief note pointing out one salient fact. This alone was sufficient for the fellow to persuade the police to discount him entirely, as his effusive letter of thanks later attested. Can you think what Holmes told the chap? Yes, I can actually. I'm not necessarily right. Um, I'm not necessarily right. I could have a guess on it. Yeah, I could have a guess on it. Right. Yep. And Whittle. this week's Darren Whittle. Sarah has four daughters. Each of her daughters has a brother. How many children does Sarah have? Hi, fans! No, he's his own space. Right, Mitch. Now then. Now we've got Madam out. Caption for last week. Sarah? Daddy's not paying any attention to us. No, he's not. He's ignoring my thank you. Hear me. Yep. Right, so the caption last week. Yep. Was this. Uh, we've got Lolly Wayne's. Mm -hmm. She says, what do you mean, ma'am? I have to share. <laughs> yeah, you you, you and, understand that concept, don't you? And Pink Poodle said, I thought he said 22 carat gold, not 22 carat. 
<laughs> I like that. I've got a few actually. I put um <laughs> I've got, unfortunately it's all mixed in together. Right, uh do I have to eat this all all my carrot before I have my pudding? Which is a bit of a long one. This is rabbit food. <laughs> And yeah, something about seeing in the dark, but I can't read the rest of my writing because it's all over the show with other bits, so that went wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I, I must. Have and you said my handwriting is atrocious. No, it isn't yeah. handwriting. It's because all the words are mixed in together because I've tried to squish them into the what's it? So those words don't go with other bits. <laughs> you are a nutter, aren't you? Right, you can say hello to everybody and then you can go back in your pool. Because mm. hopefully the separation stops. Hi <laughs> fans! Hey everybody! He's me, he's the Mishk. The gorgeous, fun little hamster. Who keeps accusing her brother of licking her and squeaking at him to tell him off and then I turn round and you're squeaking and you're the one trying to lick him. <laughs> very confused. <laughs> right, so after that mystery and behaviour. Yeah. Honestly, it's been fun this week because the hot weather's been my fault of course. Yeah. Which is why I've got little holes in my fingers, which is very unusual for my babies. But yeah, I'm not appreciating the weather. <laughs> right. Posted this week. Yep. Um, luckily, we got a load of filming in, didn't we? Yeah. Um, it's posted this week. We've got a cult box from June, Craftiosity from July, um, the Harry Potter The Burrow 3D puzzle from made from Great review. Yeah, it's yeah. review. Um companies cubic fun if you want to have a look at what they do. Um and Russell Crate June. Now that's actually packed. Darren has got more going on. I think he's doing Saturday and Sunday this week as well. So yeah, I have a whole Saturday lot of and Sunday's, to tell Saturday you. Saturday and Sunday's already on there. Right to come on. Just waiting to go on and it's time slot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We've got loan loads filled. Yeah. Um and we've got, I've got quite fry, a bit We've got Fryer's Cauldron well. we've got Fryer's Cauldron that I want to film. Yes, and that's got, part of our um yeah. ongoing what's mm. it one. I've got quite a few items from AliExpress. To go with the AliExpress um, one that we've already got a couple of bits from. Mm-hmm. So and we still haven't finished off sent ones apart from the one we already did. <laughs> yeah. But well, the Friars Cauldron one may end up being done in this sort of position. Because yeah, it may uh, very well have to. Because depending how, how things go later on today because we've got No, we'll tell them about that later. Okay. We'll tell them later. I'm sorry, I just yeah. wanna I wanna do it in order, otherwise I leave, I leave bits out, you see, I'll get to, I mm. well I don't get told off, I tell myself off. Um, right, so TV this week, I finished watching, a um, sorry, I finished watching Buffy and I've started watching Angel. Haven't done a lot else besides, to be perfectly honest, we've just melted. Yeah. Um, didn't do any diamond painting this week because the glue can be a bit... Sticky. Yeah, um, and it doesn't necessarily set how you want it to either. Mm. Um... I also haven't done any looming because wall, me, <laughs> hot flushes, heat wave, mm. that. Um, but I have started my was jig. Yep. It's not enough to show oh. you at the moment. Was jig. It, it's was was, was jig. I always call it was jig. I don't know why. A but lot of other people do as well. They do. Yes. <laughs> so the one I'm on, I've got, I've got about a hundred to be perfectly honest. I, I love these puzzles. <laughs> He's got to start going for them. So the picture you see at the front is not the picture that you're actually creating. 
what you're, you're creating is what they're is looking what at. She what she and she and she can see. Can see. Okay, that's a clue. So they can see. They can see these bits. They of the front. can see the front of her. Obviously, we see the back of her as I'm creating the picture. Yeah. Outwards, or more to the point, there's you the front of her there. there. So it's yeah. going from this way. Yeah. Um, I love these. They're usually such a giggle. Um, they can ride a challenge because you don't know what the puzzle actually is. No. Until you, you finished. No, that's right. What the picture is. Um, and it's usually something pretty funny. It is. I mean. The whole thing's quirky, you know, and they and they don't give it away even on the back. In case no. you were wondering. Yeah. It so just, it is. It is like that, just it, as that is. The whole is. So, I mean, that'll be one that, to be honest, I probably will show you each time I start a new box, hmm. and then I will show you the outcome. But I yeah. will warn you beforehand because, obviously, if you want to get them yourself. Yeah. yeah. These vary in cost, to be perfectly honest. They're not the cheapest puzzles, but they are, they're not the most expensive either. And they are just so, I love them. Absolutely yeah. love them. Right, so that's what I've been doing. Yeah. And it's amazing actually how long it can take. I'm, I'm really out of practice. I used to do lots You used to do them in the shop, didn't you? Time in the shop, yeah. yeah. Um, this is why she ended up with so many of them. Mm. Because we had, we had them all in the shop. Yeah. And then when we closed the shop, we had to move them here. And all of a sudden we've got 100 puzzles. We've actually got to try and fit in the bloody shop. Bloody place. This is it. I mean, <laughs> the other thing is, again, I'm terrible at getting rid of things. So this time round, I'm actually, I'm going to take a picture of the box, a picture of the result. For my, um, yeah. reminding me what I've done and what I've not done. I know, I know that some of them are ones that I particularly like yeah. um, and they're ones that I'll probably keep to be perfectly honest but that's just me because um, I redo things hmm. um, right weird and wonderful this week we have got I sort of went on the oh I haven't no first of all sorry caption we haven't put the caption in no so the caption's now in the wrong place because yeah. it is this one. So if you were thinking, Dittles. where's the kit? I oh, know it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a couple on that. <laughs> uh, do we feeling Betty? No, actually. <laughs> no, strangely enough, not. not. But no, so cute. I want one. <laughs> um, right. Also, following on that theme, really, sort of. I mean, it was only, it was literally just fluke, really. Um, I found this flower. I didn't search for one. I found this. It came up. So, what do you think? Yeah. It's, it's very strange. It's a black bat flower. A black bat flower. Bat, a black bat flower. He is very, he is, he is very, very nice. I do like that. I like, I like different yeah. oddities. I just think it looks almost like a butterfly, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, right. And again, following on the themes, again, this is not stuff I have looked for, this is stuff that I have found. Yeah. We've just come up, hasn't it? <laughs> What's up? What? What's up? Well, I was going to say cock, but it's not, it's a chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How uh, absolutely yeah. amazing. I wrote Sir Seminar. Seminar. I know. Chicken from Indonesia. It's skin, organs, eggs, and bones are black. Yeah, I don't know whether it would be the same as because there's 
those other weird ones, isn't there? And uh, they've got black skin, but when they cook, they go sort of purpley. Yeah, they've they? got purple flesh, haven't they? Yeah. Um, uh, but I've never seen. I, I mean, I didn't know that existed. To be perfectly honest yeah. with you. But how beautiful. Yeah. It's a goth chicken. It is. <laughs> I found some wicked ones that look a bit like chocoboos. I like them. Cho. Yeah. Cho. Um, right, um, following on our theme, I also have got a tree picture because you know I love my trees. Um, it's just a bit of fun, really, but yeah, yeah. it's like. <laughs> grumpy old, grumpy old band tree. <laughs> he's not, he's not, to me, I would say that hasn't been photoshopped because it's not enough. No, no it's not. It looks more natural than that, if you yeah, see what I mean. That's right. Right, and the last picture, I know there's a few of them. I had to show you this one this week. I was going to keep it, but I love this. My best, best pink cushion ever. It's great, you know. Oh, my back! <laughs> See, if I did that, I'd fall over. <laughs> well, I think that's blooming brilliant. Yeah. Um, you know, so, I like the unusual. Hmm. And also things that make me laugh. Yeah. Right. So, I'm going to do... Fan news. Fan news. Oh. Yes. So. Fan news. It's I know it's a new concept sort of, but look. it's more because. Fan news. Look, look. No, not that news. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. Um, one of our ladies, um, the watchers, and that is a very good patron of Pumpkin Hollow. Mm. Is Miss Ultraviolet and she? Yeah, she was. She's she, not been well. Yeah, so she's been norovirus, isn't it? Yeah, norovirus. Yeah, yeah she had. Yeah, she's been very, very ill in hospital. She's come back out now. Yeah. And she's sort of eating. Bits. So we're set, we're sending yeah. best wishes and blessings to you because I mean honestly, what you absolutely yeah. horrendous. I mean. Ugh. Yeah. I was like, she did. A, she put a video on Instagram. She was doing doing like a video bit out in the garden like that. and half an hour after that she got rushed to hospital that's right so she was fine before that <laughs> and she was um, in there for a week if you want details so. of what norovirus is i'd suggest you look it up because i don't want to make anybody feel ill no. um but yeah i honestly yeah absolutely blooming dreadful um i mean to be perfectly honest it's one of those ones that go through nursing homes and what have you and yeah it's not great i mean yeah. not that ultraviolet obviously isn't oh well not well, obviously but she's coming up to she's, her birthday she's going 47 this year yeah so she's still yeah. a young chick on the 20 her. 20 something she's still a young chick she's older than you only by two years <laughs> I think. how old yeah. am i you're yeah. 45 yeah, yeah I was <laughs> but yes yeah. well Everybody that's older than me seems to look younger than me, so I've, give, I've given up. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, bless her heart, she's sad about it because she'd not been on um, Instagram. Instagram, yeah. and I'm thinking, I've been sitting here complaining about my spots. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, send our love out to her. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's certainly put things into perspective. Mm. Um. Also, uh, Pink Poodle, bless her, she hasn't been too well either. No. Um, no, she hasn't. Because she, she also does unboxing bits on there. And she hasn't been able to get the, the unboxing bit for the cold box out because she's not been well. I mean, I, I she know. She suffers with pain bits. Yeah. And, like that. But, uh, and this week hasn't uh, been fun. Her, her other half has, has had um, COVID as well. So they've been suffering with that. As well. So we're, we're sending <laughs> blessings to you too as well. Yeah. You know, I mean, it. I don't think the heat helps things. No. I really don't. Um. I mean, for one thing, like even with the like the norovirus, um, you know, cold tends to kill a lot of 
things or more to the point they you know it, things tend to spread a lot more in the heat yes. um mind you I, with with the heat being the way it was it was pretty much um pain all round i think yeah um right Bye. we've got an update on crafty phoenix yep she sent us a message on instagram mm -hmm. that's uh the one which is tea tea and coffee i believe it is now art oh, tea and coffee i believe something like that she's doing a uh, she's still still looking at doing the boxes and she's doing a, a podcast yeah as well I, um, it's a lot more involved I think than yeah. she initially it's, it's thought take, it's taking time she's try, trying to grow the community for creatives and curious folk uh, play, she's got a place to talk among like-minded like like people bounce ideas off each other uh, she's got a discord group mm. for it so I'll not pass on to anyone who might like it. I'll put the put the bit down in the description below for you. I don't know a lot about Discord. I'm an old git. I don't know I don't yeah. know a lot about Discord. I know it's like a chat room sort of bit, but I don't really I'm know much blue. more than that. No idea. Um also don't forget that Witch Box has got a really good Facebook page. They it? have, yep. yeah. 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 And say so that's quite a good one, that is. Um, because I quite I quite like the uh, different bits they put up on that. Hmm. Right. So we were talking. We were actually talking about um, weird things cats bring you. Right. Um now then I think have you got pink right. poodle or lolly I've got, wing I've first? Got, I've got pink poodle first. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so weird because you said about ducks as duck eggs as well, didn't you? So yeah. she had ducks growing up, flip and flop with the females. <laughs> And the drape was called Quackers, wasn't it? Quack. Was it Quackers? I Quack think that, that one stuck. Quack Quackello. Called Quacker Quackelloers? I don't uh, know. Don't know. I took it as being Quackers, quackers. when you told yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, love the yeah. name. <laughs> Yeah, so um, my mum used to get a bum knit when she when she got the eggs. Only my mum though. <laughs> um, no, when mum had my mum had baby tortoises, and they used to go with your toes. <laughs> uh, we've got Lully Ween. Oh yeah, uh, Merlin's the worst instigator. I remember that much. Darren told me when obviously yeah. you guys write in and that. Um, uh, uh, right, her cat, Mandy, Mer Mandy Merlin, who's so a hunter, hunter, has brought her over the years wood pigeons, numerous little birds, numerous mice, voles, etc., rabbits, a rat. Merlin once walked into the lounge during the day and dropped a bat on my feet. It was alive and was rescued. I spent many a night chasing chasing small rodents around my house and taking cover from birds flying directly at me. Merlin, when she was a kitten, ran off, or when he was a kitten, sorry, ran off with a whole poppadom in his mouth. <laughs> poppadom? <laughs> he was bigger than him. I saw him run past me one day, and I was like, what's he got in his mouth? And it was a 20 pound note. <laughs> When he was really I little, he'd go into the bathroom bin and nab whatever he could and just place it around the house. And I, I did once stupidly leave on a kitchen bench to cook chicken from the supermarket. And I swear they worked together to get it on the floor, open the bag and devour it. They were very proud of themselves. I bet they <laughs> yeah. I thought with Beena, not with 
chicken or anything like that she wasn't allowed on the counters my dad was always adamant with that which is fair enough um and i made a trifle now when i make a trifle i always do like uh you've got either usually swiss like swiss roll yeah fruit cocktail yeah um strawberry jelly usually and strawberry blanche and then, then i do custard and whipped cream and sprinkles mm. right it's it, it's a particular trifle that i like i haven't made it in quite some time it used to you should you make it at Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Um, I used to just do a big one when I was at home, make for them, and it was when more like you could get blancmange more easily than anyway. Um, <laughs> but Tobina, bless her, who was so good normally, and she didn't get on counters as a well rule or anything like that. She'd actually managed to get on the counter. I came back in the kitchen to um, see whether the blancmange was cool enough to put in the fridge sort of thing. And there's no other way to put it really. She she was rather enjoying it. She she was um, she'd had quite a bit to be fair. I mean, it's wonder she wants sick. <laughs> I didn't know that cats like strawberry blancmange, but evidently it's a favourite, or at least it, it was, was with her. <laughs> Although she used to beg for um, if I was making fairy cakes and bits like that, she'd she'd ask for or she'd meow at me until I gave her some of the the mixture before it was cooked, mm. and then she liked have one after it had just pulled a tiny bit out of the oven mm. my cat was spoiled it didn't do her any harm and, and you know she she lived for years and years and years and years in fact we had to put her down due to arthritis so yeah. it obviously didn't do her any harm we also got angela oh yes this is about um, we had duck eggs in the 80s here my dad loved them we also had free range ones as our neighbors kept chickens and ducks as did my aunt but we were in the west of Ireland and my aunts and uncles had farms. Oh, We've got milk jealous. directly from the cow sometimes. That I'm not jealous over. Yeah. I never uh, fancied that. Uh, our cats won't go outside at all so they don't bring anything in. Mm. If I go into my office without them, they'll meow at the door until they're let in. We did have a cat who, when I was a lot younger who caught a rabbit and brought it to us. Yeah, it, it's they—they they are always so proud oh, we, of themselves. We had that one. Um, oh, we stayed at a, a cottage down uh, down in um, Cornwall. Cornwall. Mm. With me, my mum, Debbie, and her mum and dad. And yeah, there was this this like feral sort of cat. He, he, she was friendly. She, she was friendly. She was very. She, was very, she looked. She looked like a bruiser. She was. Well, she it was, was, I think it was she a he was, actually. Oh, he. It was dead. stocky. Yeah, it was really tough. He was right? beautiful. And my mum, she was, I was having a cigarette outside the door in the morning. And she, and so she panicked and rushed in and shut the door. Because this cat's coming along, meowing with a, with a bloody gravity mouth in his mouth. <laughs> Still meowing with it. But it was the like, meowing. Meow, meow, meow. Me. I mean, <laughs> it was sort of like watching it, I think. How can you meow that clearly with your mouth full? <laughs> I mean, I couldn't eat each sort of thing. No, no, clear as a bell meow. And now I'm saying, I mean, honestly, he was parading this thing down the alleyway like he, it was some sort of fanfare. Yeah. But he was so pleased with himself. <laughs> but let's say, never, never had a problem with the hamsters and the cats. Because um, usually, to be perfectly honest, the hamsters pretty much put them in their place. But it's like anything, you've got to know the personalities of your animals and things like that. Also, cats have a habit before, around the time that they know they're going to die, they can sometimes go a little bit peculiar and act completely out of character. Um, that's how we ended up losing Kesh, our canary. And I mean, Ben, bless, he'd never touched any of the animals mm. at, at home, sort of thing. 
uh, namely because he was brought up with them, I suppose, and the yeah. same with Tabina. Yeah. Um, right, also, before I forget, Jess has now sent out the pumpkin hollow bits. We haven't got them yet. No. But she has sent them out. I got a notification yesterday, or it might have been today, it's early hours. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how it works on that, and I was too bleary eyed to really pay attention to the day. So it was either sent out yesterday or today. Um, right. Now then, I've got quite a nice little story that Darren found that was really heartwarming. And she, you found it, but it was, I think it was on Gem Boutique's page, wasn't it? Or was it on Ultraviolet's? Or... I can't remember. No, no. It was on, could have been on Gem Boutique's page. I think. Yes, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. She comes up with some good ones, actually. Yeah. It's, it was um, this bit here. If you don't have time to read it, it says a crow couple has been together for twelve over twelve years. Uh, she's broken her beak eight years ago in a car crash. Uh, he's patiently fed her and loved her ever since. He was driving then. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's lovely though, isn't it? I mean, you do get it with. Let's say there's quite a few. Birds, I think, that make for life, don't they? Penguins do, and I think swans do as well. Yeah, but then again, if there's two of them together, is that an attempted murder? Oh dear. Those of you that don't know, <laughs> you know, a, like a you group, get. A group of crows is called a murder of crows. It is. <laughs> Clown words or what? <laughs> I reckon Mr. Ed Rowler came at. What? Poe. Hey, Grell and Poe. Yeah. Yeah, that's Raven. Never yeah, more. That is, <laughs> yeah, right. that's right. Right. Quite the Raven. You know, so, you know, I started to say to you about heats and ha heats and hamsters this week. Um, keeping them cool has been a bit of a trial. As I said, with the Syrians, they they seem to be able to, but well, they pretty much just sleep through it to try and ignore it. Although can't let them out in their balls when it's that hot which is why they've been buzzing today because it's the first day they've been let out for any length of time um we've done short spates with the Syrians really early hours of the morning when it was at its coolest and when we've been able to which hasn't been a lot um we've had them out in the bedroom so that's one we've bounced our what i call our aeroplane fan which is bigger than snoozy um, sort of off the ceiling, points off the ceiling, it keeps us cool in bed and cooler. And it means that it's been somewhere, especially that the Russians can run around in. We also um, have been putting um, cups in the fridge yeah. and getting them out so they've got something during the day, or sorry, during, during the night. The night. Um, so they can either go into or lay against, just keep some cool a tile, anything like that. You can do not, I wouldn't advise freezing anything because, as you know, if you, if yeah, you lick something and stuck it's to frozen, it, yeah. I just didn't want to risk it with them. Um, I'm sure that other people um, have found that there's no problem and things like that, but I'm just a little bit more, you know, they're my babies. Hmm. Um, but no, other than that, and I say Mishka and Victory, bless him, he's been laying out, we've been a few times, we thought he's been dead in the cage. It's been, yeah. been awful, hasn't it? <coughs> yeah. He's been, been against the bits because it, 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 uh, the wind, obviously, the brief and the fan obviously bounces off the side and it's in there and he's like. Um, <coughs> but no, other than that, I mean, I, I got down to clear this off for me so I could, uh, <coughs> do your puzzle yeah to do my puzzle and I mean obviously there's a couple of bits that have found their way back on here um, but to be perfectly honest other than that we've just had small amounts of water in here which, which is quite like it now, now. <laughs> but it's just giving <coughs> it's just giving them the chance of a bit of a, a paddle if they want one they know it's there um to be honest, um, Tyrion got the most use out of that. He he, he loves water. Mm. He just absolutely loves it. Um, 
never bought some with bits, but but no, I didn't say I know that a lot of you said your cats and dogs have been finding their cool spots, and they can. Yeah. The biggest problem with the hamsters is that normally, if they want out, they come out. And although we've been doing that, they haven't been coming out for long lengths of time. Because obviously we're hot, and we don't want to make them more hot. Yeah. Um, and they don't want us to make them more hot. So, you know, oh. it, it is what it is. So, yeah, when we said about the heat being a patrol this week, it hasn't just been about us. It's the more concern has actually been over the hamsters. Um, but yeah, but no, um, anyway, guys, we're gonna have yeah. to let you go because, as Darren right. said earlier about the boiler, no, I didn't say anything no, about the boiler. You, no, you, no, you stopped me saying about the boiler. In that case, we will tell you about the boiler, yeah, and why we've yeah. got to go in a minute, yeah, because we've got uh, so I'm saying about Fryer's Cauldron may end up being done in this sort of position, it's like that because we've got some coming up again to try and repair the boiler because our boiler's leaking. Quite badly, which meant Darren had um, to get going there way, every hour and a half through yes, the night. Yeah, there every hour and a half and empty the empty the bucket in there because it's coming out quite quickly. So we've got we've got stuff over here. We've got stuff all oh, down yeah, there. We've got stuff. boxes, <laughs> bags. So uh, as we can't as we can't at the moment if we if you can't fix it, it's quite an old boiler. It's, it's coming up. With, 17 years old and we can't turn it it's not like so it's, it's so it's coming up 17 years old so you, you can't get the parts for it anymore so if you can't repair it it's uh we're going to end up having a lot of stuff over there for a while mm. so it means we're not going to be able to film where we normally no. film without moving it all plus <coughs> with the heat it's not been exactly great on you know um I mean, it, it's just the stuff that you, you make do, you make do with what space you've got and bits like that. I mean, we've had it before when we used to have stock up here and I mean, we have still got stock up here, but we haven't got as much stock up here as we used to. No. Um, so we've got boxes of stuff like that. We have, we've we still got stuff that's boxed away that's ready for if and when we move. I mean, you could argue, I mean, it's things like keeping things for best, especially since, um, yeah. I mean, as I say, as we said, we used to smoke and we had no intention if we, you know, because we need to move somewhere that's ground floor. Mm. And at the time when we were smoking, we were thinking, I'll oh, just smoke outside then, sort of thing. But honestly, I mean, we, we don't now, and it's sort of like, stuff still in the boxes but it means right. going through all of them and it's like nah. That's why we could have, that's why we could end up doing all these unboxings. Yeah. We, we used to get some mystery boxes done but because we go about smoking we had extra money. Mm. <laughs> but I mean you do you, you ship things around and have a bit less of something else so you can have something that cheers you up. Yeah. And yeah. you know I'd recommend it if you, anybody if anybody is like myself where they're they're stuck in pretty much 90 percent of the time it's worth treating yourself mm, totally. um even if it's just a small thing which is why i always tell you guys when we find good shops and bits like that and local businesses because quite simply you need something to cheer you up i mean you know it is what it is yeah but yeah we just got one last bit that i found I came across oh, the other yes, day. Oh yes, this was brilliant. Yeah. It's, um, it's about well, Zoom, you want to laugh. It's about Zoom meetings. Zoom meetings are, are just modern day seances. There's someone who wants to join us. Elizabeth, are you there? We can't hear you. Can you hear us? I mean, Any, if anyone you... who's done, done any of these sort of bits, I haven't used that. I've used Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams, which was yeah. bloody lousy. But okay. yeah, okay, yeah. It is that, isn't it? It really yeah, it is. is. I mean, yeah. obviously, you're not trying to get word from the dead. Although, to be perfectly honest, if anybody I hasn't, I've worked, I've worked with a lot of people like that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not trying to contact the dead. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like I'll be in my own little world at the best of times. So, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, stay cool, stay safe. If you are out in the sun, make sure you plenty of sunscreen or coverage um, 
you know all this noise, but yeah. it's it's surprising how hot things do get. That's right, the Sunday's ones be getting very hot. And heat stroke can slip up on anybody, to be perfectly honest. It's not just burning, getting burnt in the sun, it's hmm. it's a whole multitude of things, plus it's more exhausting. Um, That's right. So just take care. Yeah. And as I will, be different. Bye. Bye.